The heavens and the earth will be rolled up in your presence, and the one who lives from the living one will not see death. Whoever finds himself is superior to the world. Know thyself, ton, or know thyself. These words are inscribed above the entrance to the temple of Apollo at Delphi, the site of the sacred oracle. Know thyself is a theme of spiritual alignment that is found from many spiritual masters and within many traditions. Who am I? What am I? This is the crucial question, the most fundamental question in life. This is the beginning of all spiritual seeking. What are we really? Our automatic answer to this is most likely our age, our sex, our career, our level of education we've achieved, where we're from, our nationality, our race, so on and so forth. But is that who we are really? Are we the body? Are we this character that we perform? Are we these roles that we play in life? And the answer to this fundamental huge question, what am I, who am I? In spirituality, the answer is, you are the one that is in all things, aka God. But God has a lot of baggage with it, that word, right? So what else could we call it? We call it the consciousness with everything, the light within everything, the love, the spirit, source, the father, the mother, whatever you wish to call it, the Tao, the Buddha nature, the Christ consciousness, whatever you wish to call it, it is the true identity that awareness, that presence, that essence within everything. So we are not our thoughts, we are not what we perform, we are not the character that we've been cast into to play within this theatrical performance and dream of, of diversity, of this dream of Earth. We are the actor behind that, we are the wearer of the mask. So to know thyself really means to know the essence that's within everything. It's the true consciousness, it's the background presence, not the ego, not identifying with this mind loop or these thoughts that we have, not identifying with the form, with the body, or the roles that we play. And you may catch yourself changing characters, right, throughout life, throughout even situations and encounters you have with other people. And afterwards, you're like, why did I behave that way? I was so different than around this person, I'm this way. And that helps us realize when we become aware of our thoughts and actions, our automatic reactions towards others, we can see, what was that? If I keep switching from this person or that person, how I behave, how I act, how I'm perceived, then that really can't be what I am. Then who am I? This is the fundamental question. Who am I? Tat tavam asi, thou art that. That is from the Upanishads. You are that thing you are seeking. You are the essence within everything. Thou art that. I am that I am. Be still and know that I am God. Be still, be still from the constant commentary, the inner dialogue, the identification with our thoughts, with the ego. Be still and know that the true self, the I am, is the one within everything, is God. Seek not abroad, turn back unto thyself, for in the inner man dwells the truth. Self-realization is God-realization. The I am in you created everything in the universe. Of all knowledge, the wise and good seek most to know themselves. Seek not outside yourself, for all your pain comes simply from a futile search of what you want, insisting where it must be found. Be you glad that you are told where happiness abides, and seek no longer elsewhere. You will fail but it is given you to know the truth and to not seek for it outside yourself. The further out one goes, the lesser one's knowledge becomes. Therefore, the man of calling does not need to go, and yet he knows everything. The way lies at hand, yet it is sought afar off. The thing lies in the easy, yet it is sought in the difficult. Nothing appeared close to me, because I was the door of everything. Lo, I am with you always, means when you look for God, God is in the look of your eyes, in the thought of looking, nearer to you than yourself or things that have happened to you. There is no need to go outside. Can there be anything not known to that who is the one in all? No one, no all. 
He who, dwelling in the mind, yet is other than the mind, whom the mind does not know, whose body the mind is, who controls the mind from within, he is your soul, the inner controller, the immortal. That which in you sees and hears is not of the earth, but is the word of God incarnate. What the undeveloped man seeks is outside, what the advanced man seeks is within himself. You are all Christ's and don't realize it. What is here is found elsewhere, but what is not here is nowhere else. There is an inmost center in us all where truth abides in fullness. Look within. Within is the fountain of good. In everything there is all that is in anything else. There is thus nothing in the universe which is not in the human body. There is no need to throw one's eyes into the heavens to find God. He is within, being known as the ruler within, or inner self. All else is his power as mind and matter. Whatever a mind or matter exists in the universe exists in some form or matter in the human body. There is no statement that the world is more afraid to hear than this. I do not know the thing I am, and therefore do not know what I am doing, where I am, or how to look upon the world, or on myself. Yet in this learning is salvation born, and what you are will tell you of itself. And after asking this fundamental question, who am I or what am I, the realization comes that we cannot fully know. We won't know logically. We can never know in the intellect what we really are because that is still operating at the level of the ego or the individual self or the seemingly separate self, which is the illusion. So what is required is that we surrender to the consciousness, to the love light, and it will reveal itself to us. It will let us know what it is. So it's a surrendering to a humbleness and allowing and a recognition that I do not know what I am and surrendering to that unknown. So it is that paradoxical nature of you must lose yourself to find yourself with a capital S, the true self. You must become nothing to realize that what you really are is everything, is the one within everything. God does not ask anything else of you except that you let yourself go and let God be God in you. I went to look for God, but didn't find God. I myself became God. In this very body, God revealed himself to me.